Hey guys, Godric here today with another video for you. In this video, we're going to be talking about what materials you can use when you make woven belts and how long your cord should be when you're making them. But before we jump into that, make sure you hit that subscribe and like button on the bottom here of this video. And also leave a comment for me if you have any ideas on any other videos that you'd like for me to make. Let's jump on in. Alright, so most of the belts that I make are going to be made out of these two materials here on the table. Uh, the first of which is macrame, uh, got three different sizes here and we'll go into that in just a minute, and paracord. Uh, I prefer paracord, I like the look of the finished belt a little bit better, I like the, the colors a little bit better, generally the colors will pop more, uh, but some people love macrame because they like the feel of it, it's a little bit softer, the macrame is also a little bit cheaper. Uh, so it's, it's kind of up to you which one you would want to use. Uh, I recommend making both. Try it out, see what you think. Uh, you can make belts out of other things. I've made belts out of loose pieces of fabric. People make them out of yarn. Uh, if you get into some of the more period aspects with the inkle weaving and card weaving, you can make belts out of those as well. Uh, but for the type of belts that I generally make on my video, these are the two materials that I use. So what we're going to go through now is talk about the different materials, uh, talk about the price per foot of the material, because that's important if you're going to be making a lot of these, and then we're going to talk about roughly how much it would be uh, to make a belt out of these materials. So we're going to start off with the macrame here. Um, I've got a 6 millimeter macrame uh, right here in front of us, this gray. Uh, this is what I use if I'm going to make a macrame belt. Uh, you can use the smaller ones, but really this is the one that you're going to want to use, that's 6 millimeter. Uh, so I got this at Hobby Lobby, you can see there, it's $8.99 for 100 yards, 300 feet of material. The price on that comes out to uh, about uh, 3 cents a square or three cents a foot on this macrame. Uh, so if you were going to make a belt, if we're going to assume you have a two dollar metal ring and you will need roughly 200 feet of macrame for this, you can make a full belt out of this material uh, for about eight dollars. Now the next one that we have over here, uh, this is the, the four millimeter. Uh, this one is in red, this is a little bit smaller. I've made a couple of belts out of this in the past and it works just fine. Uh, the four millimeter here, this was $3 for 150 feet of cord, which comes up roughly to two cents a foot. The thing is, when you start using the smaller ones, uh, you will need more cord than you do with some of the other ones uh, because of the smaller diameter there. Uh, so this one, you'll need more like 300 feet for a belt. Uh, so again, with the same $2 ring, if you were going to make a belt out of the 4mm, it would cost you about $8. Now, if you were going to use the smallest, I've never done a belt out of these. Uh, you can, I've seen people do it. Um, you can get some pretty cool stuff in here. Uh, but this is the smallest macrame that they have readily available at Hobby Lobby. Uh, this was two millimeters. This bundle here cost me four dollars and had 300 feet, so it's a little over a cent per foot. But again, you're gonna need a lot more of it uh, if you're gonna make a belt out of this. So this would run you between six and eight bucks depending on how much cord uh, you would end up needing. All right, so I unraveled these a little bit and put them side by side so you can kind of see the difference. Um, here's one of my pins so you can see roughly the size there. So again, the six millimeter here is the one that I use most of the time. Uh, if you want to, I made a few belts on the four millimeter, you can. Again, you're gonna have to use more material even though it's a little bit cheaper. So these two are about the same price if you're gonna make a belt. If it's the same price, unless you're doing something specific with it, I would go with the six millimeter because it's going to be easier because uh, there's going to be fewer strands, it'll take you less time. But certain weaves or certain designs, you may want to use a smaller one that is a little bit uh, for more intricate designs. And then over here, you have your two millimeter. Um, I've never made a belt out of this before, uh, but if you're doing, say, like a friendship bracelet type of belt or you're taking a pattern from card weaving, something like this would probably be the best bet for you. All right. Now let's talk about the good stuff. Uh, paracord is my ideal when I'm making belts. It's the material that I love. 
Uh, it's the material I use the most. I probably have, oh, 15,000 feet of paracord at the house right now in different colors for different belts. Um, if you order a lot or if you're going to make a lot, I recommend getting the bulk rolls. This was 1,000 feet when I ordered it. It's probably 400 or 500 feet now. Um, but cost for paracord. So if you go to Hobby Lobby and just buy the normal paracord that they sell there in 100 foot bundles, they will sell it to you 100 feet for nine bucks, which comes out to roughly nine cents um, per foot, which is triple what the macrame is. Uh, if you're using the same $2 ring, that belt would come up to roughly $20. I order all of my paracord online from theparacordstore.com. Um, they sell these in a hundred foot or a thousand foot rolls. You get them much cheaper if you buy them in that. Uh, so a thousand foot rolls come up to $45. Uh, they are a thousand feet, which comes up to roughly four and a half cents per foot. Uh, so if that same $2 ring, it comes up to roughly $11 per belt. Now, when you're coming up, didn't plan on putting this in here, but might as well. Uh, if you're going to sell your belts, uh, generally what I do is I take the cost of my materials. So say I was going to make a belt using this uh, and it was going to be $11. I then keep track of my hours. Generally on a belt, it takes me three to four hours. Uh, sometimes more, sometimes less, it just kind of depends, but generally three to four hours. And then I figure out what my time is worth and I add that on. Uh, whether that for you, you can decide that if you want it to be 10 bucks an hour or 15 bucks an hour, uh, 20 even, that's up to you. Um, so you start with a belt on this, 11 bucks. Say you took four hours and you're gonna charge $10 an hour for your time. You're looking at selling a paracord belt for 50 bucks. Again, if you want to go higher, you know, 15 bucks an hour, it goes up from there. Um, but that's how I price my belts. I do the cost of the ring, plus the cost of the materials, plus my time. So in my previous video, we talked about how to measure out the cord and how much cord do you need to make a belt. Well, I'm gonna reiterate it here because I think it's important and we can't really say it enough. So what you need to do to start with is figure out how long you want your belt to be. Most belts are between six and eight feet long. Most of them are closer to that six foot. You're then gonna take for each strand that you're gonna be weaving, it needs to be a three times longer than what your original belt is going to be. So for instance, if you want a six foot belt, you need six yards of material per strand that you're weaving. But then you add an additional yard on for your end knot. So if you want a six foot belt, you're gonna make seven yard strands. One yard for each foot that you want the end result to be, and an additional yard to do your fancy end knot. I'll put a link in the description to my other video if you have more questions about that. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. That wraps up our video on what material you should use when you are making a belt. Make sure that you hit that subscribe and like button below, and we'll see you next time.